if you had to handicap the quarterback competition right now, how would you handicap it? Well, um, the I mean, I th- odds to take the first snap of the year. That's yeah. all I'm looking for. I think um, it's going to be Bo Nix. And I think Vegas probably thinks it's going to be Bo Nix. So I got Bo Nix at um, minus 200. Young quarterback, Sean Payton just took him. Look at the guys around him if you're sure. Vegas, right? You're not caught up in this situation thinking about, oh, yeah, Sean Payton really loves Jared Stidham, yada, 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 right? Right. You're, they're looking at this thing like, okay, like seriously? You think Sean Payton's going to really start Jared Stidham or Zach Wilson? And answer is no. Like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? You're going to start your young quarterback and get him out on the football field as quick as possible. So I'd say like two to one, maybe, maybe, maybe even um, three to one here, right around there. Um, that Bo Nix is the opening day starter. Minus four hundred. Oh. One to four. One to wow. four. That's. I mean, that's that's big odds. I mean, it, you can't even bet it. You can't even bet it. You Doesn't, can't touch like, it. Just because, and here's why you can't bet it. I mean, you have to bet $400 to win $100, right? That doesn't make sense. What happens if he rolls his ankle? You lose your money. So, like, are you going to bet 800 bucks to win 200 Then he rolls his ankle so he doesn't start the first game. Now you lose 800 bucks trying to win 200 You know what I'm saying? Oh, of course. It just doesn't yeah. make sense at those odds to make this type of bet. What does make sense, though, mm. yeah, is I'm following. to – Flip it and look at the other two guys and say, okay, those guys are plus money now. And then you take a flyer on one of those two guys, and you would have to take a flyer, I would think I would, on a guy like Jared Stidham at plus money just in case Sean Payton's like, ah, I don't want to start uh, Bo Nix week one in Seattle. Maybe give him a couple weeks to kind of sit back, watch the NFL game, and then I'll start him in week three, or if he, like I said, just rolled his ankle a little bit in camp and couldn't go the first game, then it's Jared Stidham. Um, and I would say you look at those odds, Jared Stidham's probably plus 225. Zach Wilson is second on the list. Oh, what? Four, no. four and a half to one. Four plus 450. If you want to win a hundred, if you want to win, if you put a hundred down, you win 450. Right. Whereas- so you get your hundred back plus extra 450 bucks. If you put a hundred dollars down, on Zach Wilson to be the opening day starter? Week okay. one starter, first snap. And you wow. want to know about Jared Stidham? Well, I mean, now that you're telling me, I mean, what, plus 650, plus 700? You nailed it. Six and a half to one, plus wow. 650. Well, that's the one I'm taking a flyer on. I mean, I'll put 10 bucks, 20 bucks on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a dollar, you want, 50 cents. <laughs> you want to, if you want to put 50, you know, what do you want, like 375 or something like that? Move the um, decimal places a couple, so, you know? I, wow. I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting, because I don't think it's going to go down like that. But to me, it's Bo Nix, and then it's, dang, Jared Stidham, and then it's Zach Wilson bringing up the rear. You don't feel that way? I mean, that's how, that's the way I viewed this thing the whole time. I don't understand how they have Zach Wilson in front of Jared Stidham. No, that doesn't make any sense. And by the way, speaking of Zach Wilson, congratulations are in order to Z Willie, who this weekend, I believe it was the Amalfi Coast, got engaged to his new model girlfriend, age-appropriate model girlfriend, by the way. Congratulations to Zach. Oh, he got engaged. He got engaged. In the Amalfi Coast. In the Amalfi Coast. Wow, I heard that's pretty nice over there I off heard. the coast of I heard Amalfi. Ki- well, Kisner, you got a place out there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. letting French Josh r- use it this weekend. Oh, jo- oh that's, that's where Josh, Josh is. Oh, yeah. it's yeah. so nice of you. I know. What about, like, I like the coast of Amalfi. Like, you, I thought you went last time. Huh? I thought you, you went, went last, last year. Yeah. You oh, had it last that's year. Where, that's where I went last go, year. Yeah, where, you had it last year. Where do you want to go again? July? All right. yeah, yeah, July. Yeah, late July. 28, 29. Yeah, right around there. That'd Skip be, training uh, camp. Ah, I can't make it because of camp. I'm going. Does he have to pay for gas for the yacht, or is that all taken care of? I I got to take care of it. You got to take care of it. It's it's all part of it. It's it's exclusive type of deal. It's just all, all, boom. It sits right on the dock. It doesn't even move. Look at those. Look at that amenities. Great setup he's got over there. Think maybe, you know. I can't afford the gas. It just stays on the dock. (laughs) You're right. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, if you have a boat in a slip, that's the way to go about it anyway. You just go out in the boat. Tiger Woods right next door. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. Tiger. Yeah. How's he doing? I don't know. He's always hurt. So oh, you, you're know. here. Wow. You haven't been there. Yeah, I haven't yeah, been I there. I see. I see. Okay. Okay, so okay. Zach Wilson got engaged. All right, good for him. We're going I, that to Kisner's place that, next week. That doesn't help. <clears throat> um, that doesn't help. No, it was just. I mean, that doesn't I was just saying congratulations. Can I congratulate a guy on his nuptials? Yeah, absolutely. 
Okay. Absolutely. Okay. But I'm just saying that that to me is like on his right. pending nuptials. Okay. Um, I, I don't know why he's You asked me how I'd handicap second. it before we went down that little deluge there. And I would handicap it based upon what I saw at minicamp, because I was out there at minicamp. Stidham is the furthest along. He's the most comfortable. However, there's not... And he should be, right? I mean, you would expect... He's the only guy that's been there for a year. You would hope. Plus, right. So if it really was all about winning games, do I think right now he will be the most ready to start week one? I do. So, and I think it was something that Zach brought up with Sean Payton. He asked him, he goes... Well, if it's about winning, how do you determine who starts week one? And Peyton referenced the locker room. And I was curious to get your take on this. If the locker room and the guys in there know that Stidham's probably a better option to go to start the year, but Bo's the guy, does that create problems? No, it shouldn't. I mean, unless Bo Nix is a complete disaster. He's not. Right. He's not. Well, then I don't think it's an issue. Um, I would say it's a marginal gap. And the question would be, if it's about negligible the difference between Stidham and Knicks does the tie go to the first rounder uh, absolutely okay yeah absolutely I think you know, it's it's if it's close if it's close it, it goes to the first round it is uh, now we'll see though I mean like you're not watching real football out there no you know? so as, as no. we get through real football we'll see what it looks like every day day in and day out in training camp and what Bo looks like um but if it's close you know uh, Bo Nix uh, uh, wins that race so I think in the locker room Oh, I, I mean, I, I always understood, I'm, and I'm just really worried about myself, first and foremost, right, as a sure. player. I'm worried about doing my job, okay? And whoever the coach says is, the, <laughs> as I'm just knocking my knocking whole coffee stuff, down, yeah. um, uh, whoever the good. coach says the quarterback is, guess what? Okay, cool, let's go. And you understand what's going down. You understand that Bo Nix is a first rounder. Bo Nix is going to play this year. I don't care if Jared Sidham gives you a, a be, a, a, the best chance to win in week eight. It's, it, I mean, excuse me, if Jared Stidham does, it doesn't matter. Bo Nix is going to play. So I understand why Sean said that. And maybe first couple weeks it is Jared Stidham, but ultimately it's going to have to be Bo Nix. And the guys in the locker room, especially the veteran guys, they understand that. The younger guys, most of those guys are just trying to survive anyway, right? They're worrying about their job and and their job security and going out there and performing. So I think overall those guys in the locker room understand that it's not like – I think they look in the locker room and say, oh, yeah, we're a Super Bowl roster. Let's go with a veteran quarterback. I'll tell you, if I had to handicap it right now, I'd put Stidham one, Knicks two, and Wilson three. Maybe that doesn't end up happening, and maybe things change in training camp. But right now, Stidham is the smoothest operator. And I do think, Sean, for Sean, it's about winning games. So we'll see how it plays out. And again, you brought it up. At Seattle, to start the year, the NFL's loudest stadium on the road, that's not really a soft landing for Bo. So if they decided to wait until, you know, week two, the home opener, not that that's really a soft landing either. Yeah. I, I get kind like, of wanting to get him in some experience before that game. It's the NFL. I get you. You know, like, there's, I get I, what, you. where's the soft landing? Do we wait till like, week seven? You know what I'm saying? It's Maybe like, the first four weeks. I mean, you got three of the first four on a road against teams that should be in the playoffs or at least in the discussion. Yeah, I, I just And then don't. you've got – three of your next four at home, that would probably be a softer landing for the Broncos. I, I think I don't think coaches really look at it that way. Probably not. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, like we're doing right here, I don't think they look at it like, um, yeah, let's wait till week five. Who's a better know? option? Let's wait for week yeah. six. It's just like, okay, this is the NFL. You're getting paid a lot of money. We're going to get you out there right away. Yeah, it might not be perfect, but that's okay. It, you know, it's Sink never going to be perfect. Yeah, yeah. and, and so – uh, we need to we need to get you some experience. We need to get you on the football field. So let's go. So it sounds like you might be a little upset if it was steady to start the year. Um, a little bit, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we'll dive into that over the course of the next couple of days.